you laugh you lose metal edition welcome back everyone my name is katie and today i'm scouring the internet for the most iconic and funniest metal videos of all time and we're gonna see if i'm able to hold back my laughter all right first video i kind of had a sneak peek of what the first part of this video is and i feel like i might lose on the first one so let's Hi, do it night flight fans uh, we're talking with the one and only ozzy osbourne uh, good evening uh, uh, ozzy what Good evening, Ozzy. Hello there. How are you? Fine. Man, it's almost Ozzie. hard to watch. That one isn't even funny to me anymore. I, what, bro is tweaking. Like, I can't even... It's almost disturbing to watch. Like, what was going on in there? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Oh no, what song oh, should be banned? Friday song by Rebecca Black. That is the worst painful piece of <laughs> I've ever heard in my goddamn life. And the fact that her dad paid for it makes me want to stab him in the neck. Ich will. Oh my god, that's a little bit brutal. Listen, Rebecca Black Friday is a banger. It aged well. I love it now. I kind of loved it back then too. I'm not going to lie. When it came out, I was, I was a Rebecca Black Friday stan. And leave it to Corey Taylor to be a contrarian. He always has a problem with everything. Like, come on, Corey. It, you know it's a good song. Come on. Maybe he's changed his ways since this. This was like 10 years ago. So I just realized I've already laughed like two times. Oh, well. I will that you good see it. I will. I will that you understand. I will. I will your energy. I will. I will. I will your energy. I will. I will your fantasy. Why do I want to laugh? I will. I will your hands see. I will in by fall under. Something gets in my head. It'll come out my mouth. Oh no. So you listen to a lot of Justin Bieber? Is that we gonna Justin Bieber? Who the fuck's Justin Bieber? Good. I like that. He knows who Justin Bieber is. Come on. Come on, Ozzy. You knew who Justin Bieber was. You knew, and I bet you secretly liked him at the time, too. <laughs> All these metal guys trying to be like, oh, I don't like pop music. Sure, buddy. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Killing it. as a laugh i'm sorry but that was just like so cunty oh my god <laughs> there's no way i'm not gonna laugh we this is no longer a you laugh you lose challenge i've already lost but i'm gonna keep trying but i'm i'm just a giggly girl okay i'm a giggler what can i say lars ulrich version oh no not the constant fills ah 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 <laughs> it hurts <laughs> Listen, I love Lars, but that was pretty accurate, man. Unfortunately. It's so hard not to laugh. I can't. Why does it work, though? Why does it actually work? Oh no, is this Metallica? Wait, yeah. Oh, Lars. Oh no. Oh no, buddy. Oh, oh man. I just, sometimes I wonder with how precise James is as a guitarist, if it just makes him cringe so hard when Lars is so off time like that, like... I feel like James's rhythm guitar is what's keeping the rhythm in Metallica. Like, Lars is following James, and he doesn't... I just wonder sometimes if they ever were, like, considering replacing Lars, even though that's, like, impossible because he's so important to the band. Like, that's got to be hard to play with. <laughs> you know? Kind of sounds like a DSBM moment. Like, that could be like a silencer album or something. Zach Wild. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. My 
Bad omens? It's like my life, <laughs> what? I've what? seen that a million times, but <laughs> sorry, it's hilarious. <laughs> He's tweaking. You know, I still don't know that much about Buckethead. Like, I, I don't know the Buckethead lore. I don't know what he looks like underneath the mask. I know he's really talented, but it's weird. I've never really done a deep dive on him. I've just always seen him around. No way. Ooh. True Norwegian black metal. Hell yeah, brother, let's go! Speak the truth, brother! I've been working for two years. <laughs> and I encourage anybody not to work. Working can wait. I say slack off working because you're only going to be alive wait. for 70 years if you're lucky, right? And we just contribute to this sick materialistic society. So slack off. Big deal. He's kind of got a point. Join my Patreon so I can be like this guy. <laughs> His name would be Tobias. <laughs> you know what? Some the normies just don't get it. The posers will never understand. I understand you, Tobias. Are you a transvestite or a homosexual? Sometimes. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. What's ahead of his time. Where do you spend your money? On drugs. Way ahead of his time. You know, I've noticed a lot watching interviews from like the 70s, the 80s, the 90s that all of the journalists in that time were so obsessed with asking celebrities and musicians about their sexual orientation, their gender identity, all of that stuff. Like they were so hell bent on asking those sort of questions. I feel like we're not really like that th these days, but I've noticed it a lot. Like if you go and watch like old David Bowie interviews, they always just wanted to know if he fucks guys or not. Like who gives a shit? <laughs> That's me for real. Uh, Hell yeah, Charles. Is this the next Burzum album? Does it sound like there's a seal in labor here somewhere? Is that Dave? Oh, you. Every village has its asshole and you're it. Ooh, See, got him. Happens when cousins fuck. Ooh, got him. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. Put your hands up. Who's the idiot? Uh, put your hands down. You He's so it. toxic. 60,000 sperm and you're the one that won. What a fucking loser. Anyways, I'm going to dedicate this song to you, shit for brains. This next song is called uh, Head Crusher. He's so toxic. I could fix him. Who is Slipknot? What do you mean by that? I don't understand the question. Give it to me again. What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand what the hell you're saying. Who is Slipknot? I don't understand what the hell you're saying! <laughs> okay, can you explain to me uh, about the band? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Um. <laughs> That's so cute! Why is that so adorable? I don't know, like, that, that, that was actually... What's wrong with me? Now I need to just change my username on TikTok to Joey Jordison's Fleshlight and I'll be the most normal Slipknot fan. Oh, Lord. Lars, baby, baby girl. The drumming isn't even the worst part of that video. It's the fucking slicked back Steven Seagal ass ponytail with that bald ass head. Like, I'm so glad he finally let go of that hair. Oh. I did my job and no one knows. So if you say face, it doesn't cut. The soul is not so vibrant. The reckoning, the sickening packages, subversions. <laughs> Is that a child? I'm gonna be real, I don't think black metal was ever meant to be performed in daylight. Let's go! Um, the first time I saw you was in Detroit a couple of years ago. Um, live in concert. What's wrong with you? Don't you say that you behave yourself. He's just a now silly, goofy boy. Oh no. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, Come it on. Is. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bro is zooted. Yeah. Was a cutie Can you play Hotel California by the Eagles? I can't believe you asked me to play such a shitty fucking tune. Don't you know? I play in fucking Slayer. What the hell are you asking me, man? I can't believe I did this fucking TV show. <laughs> uh, okay, listen. <laughs> it's supposed to be an act. It's supposed to be a bit. You know, it's supposed to be funny. But like, Carrie King low key kind of acts like that. But we love them anyway. So this one's okay, iconic. How long has the band been together as Metallica? Well, since we started. Smart ass. <laughs> The Justice Toy? Oh, hell yeah. Did they actually do this? I have never seen this clip in my life. Is this real? Well, you know, Sean, just on this tour, Sean slammed his head into some kind of pipe and knocked himself out, and he had to go get <laughs> stitches, which is funny. It's metal but, um, as hell. So he doesn't need a mask anymore? Oh, no, he always needs a mask. Oh, okay. You, you want to keep a mask on him at, at all times. Yeah. He's just kind of a, a gross, gorilla, like, Grizzly Adams-looking guy. I can't, I can't see anymore without him punching me, though. He's got a point. So, I did a pretty bad job. I feel like I laughed more than I was supposed to. I, throughout some of it, I forgot that I wasn't allowed to laugh because it, it was funny. A lot of them were like iconic clips that I just hold dear to my heart and I couldn't help it. So that's all for this episode of You Laugh, You Lose. Let me know how you did in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos in the future and I'll see you soon. Bye.